Soap Guys TV, Millie, I'm back with another one. So, we're going to be talking about Crypto.com, a little bit about the noise, the FUD, Chris, his reaction, and my thoughts, and what I think about the future of Crow, yes, Crypto.com. So again, if you like videos like this one, if you rock with Millie, make sure you go hard on the like button, leave a comment, and keep your favorite crypto and door-to-door -door entrepreneur in the algorithms. I do apologize, family, that I didn't drop a video earlier. I had two business meetings set up that I had to knock out, family, and they went well. If you must, if you did ask, they went well. So I appreciate y'all guys for being very patient. But I'm back. Let's get into the video. All right. So Crypto.com uses only 10% of its revenue each year on sponsorship deals. These deals have helped Crow grow to over 70 million users in just a few years of business. So a lot of people were asking, Millie. What's up with these sponsorship deals? What's up? What, what, what's up with all these sponsorship deals? Well, family, they only pay 10% of their revenue to these deals. So over the next 20 years, they'll probably be um, I'm paying for these deals. But you have to understand that it's a marketing strategy that is putting Crow Crypto.com and their product in front of millions of users. Also. Chris made it clear that Crow is not being used as collateral. So they're not lending out their Crow instead of using the dollar USD, i.e. FTX, FTT, baby. I got to do a video on the craziness that's going on with FTT. Like and subscribe, man, if that situation been crazy. And 5 billion people are expected to watch the FIFA World Cup. So if you didn't know, family, the World Cup is coming in a week or so. And... Crypto.com, one of the projects that are sponsored for the World Cup, World Cup will be put into 5 billion faces. So, again, a lot of people that I know personally started their crypto career with Crypto.com. And many people were asking about the reserves. So, Crypto.com also made it clear that they have one-in-one -one reserves. So, if all of y'all want to buy Dogecoin, if everybody want to buy Dog and Lamars, if everybody wants to buy Shiba Inu, Crypto.com Crow has these reserves. So since so many people are invested into these meme coins, these specu uh, uh, speculatory projects, of course, it's only right that Crypto.com has the reserves. They're going to have the reserves for what y'all want to buy. So just to make that clear, um, those are not the assets or liabilities. That, are, that is just the client's wallets and the one-in-one -one reserves that they hold to make sure that the the client is protected, family. So we had to make that clear. We had to make that clear. And also, let's just make this clear. When 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 these companies drop these reserves, it, it literally means nothing because we don't know what their liabilities is. But it is good that Chris made it clear that they only use 10% of the revenue each year to these sponsorships deal. And it's also funny how people act like Crypto.com doesn't have a DeFi wallet. They literally have their own cold storage wallet called the Crypto.com Crow DeFi wallet. Many people use it where if you have a problem with your crypto or, or you don't want to personally hold your crypto or Crow on an exchange or even your Dog Lamarge, your Elon, you can send your Crow, your Elon tokens over to the DeFi wallet as a code storage all right family so if y'all want to see me do a video on how to do that let me know because i know it's always some new people that's joining the channel and we want to make sure everybody is protected with all this craziness and mess going on so it's good to know i just can't see a a project failing with all of these sponsorships man let's get let's just be real crypto.com is literally everywhere i was just watching the philadelphia 76ers highlights with joel O'Bill was going joel and b was going crazy 59 points and i couldn't i couldn't i couldn't just i, I could i couldn't fail to notice family that crypto.com was literally on the floor it was literally on the hardwood floor so the project is going to be seen everywhere. They got the World Cup coming up. Nine billion people. Come on, man. Let's stop spreading the fun, okay? So Chris came out there, and he also uh, spoke on the, uh, the, the 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 whole one billion to FTX thing. Okay, he said we recovered nine hundred and ninety million from FTX, which means they only were was exposed, family. 
10 million dollars so it, it, a lot of flutters is coming up and saying oh man they 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 they, they lost a billion dollars dealing with ftx that was a lie that was fun you gotta be pre you, you, <laughs> That's why I waited to do the video, family, because I wanted to make sure that I was delivering value, make sure I had my facts together before I come out here and um, speak on Crypto.com without the facts, man. You feel me? So, again, they have an audit coming up. Be looking for the Crypto.com audit. It's going to take some time, but this audit should uh, provide full Full transparency, family, so you can feel a little bit more comfortable about doing business again with Crypto.com. Now, we did see Crypto.com. Let's get into some of the price. Um, it's up 13% on the day. Um, it's, it's right at 7%, 6, 9, 69. It's right at 7 cents. So it, we saw this thing literally under 6 cents around 5, 6. So that we love to see that. The volume is up 36%. We love to see the volume, family. And as you can see right here, the market cap currently is 1%. Point seven billion dollars they have over three billion dollars in client reserves okay 1.7 market cap fully diluted two million three billion in reserves okay the circulating supply sitting at about 83 percent so you can't worry about you can't you can't you don't have to should i say worry about too much inflation with this project we're seeing everything in the crypto.com ecosystem literally up you got deals with tectonic you got deals with vvs finance and you probably got deals with mmf finance good to see vvs finance up 12 percent because i thought that was for for a real for a long time you know when i first got into crypto a little little quick story when i first got into crypto i thought vv 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 vvs finance was the shit the sugar honey it i thought it was going to make me a millionaire baby but Unfortunately, it was one of those projects I had to get rid of. So it's good to see the VVS finance holders up 12% on a day. And if you ignored the FUD on Crow, man, and you bought on that deal, you bought those deals, you took advantage on the opportunity, man, then you made about a 25% gain overnight after Chris came out with the AMA. We then seen Crypto.com sort of like recover, all right? So it, did it fully recover? The jury is still out. We'll have to see how they handle this bank run because at the end of the day, when you see projects drop like that 30% within a day, especially exchanges, that's a bank run. Also, from my knowledge and speaking to other experts in the industry, bank runs happen every bear market to make sure these exchanges are doing what they're supposed to be doing, family. So, don't look at the bank run as a negative thing. Bank runs clean up the market. They get these bad actors out the market. And then we come back stronger than ever. So will Crypto.com make it? Hopefully. Am I worried? Of course not. Do I still do business with Crypto.com? Yes. Did I tell people to take their bags off Crypto.com? Yes. Only family because I am here to protect the community first, then the project. Here, we worry about the family first, the community first, and then we focus on the project. So, again, if you ignore Millie, you made some money yesterday. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Yeah, no fun, no fear, just awareness. Make sure we're protecting the community, all right? And there will always be exchanges, families. There will always be a CZ going on a press run. There's always going to be a middle middleman trying to make money off the little guy, a market maker. There will always be a bank. So, you already know the saying, not your keys, not your crypto, man. Get you a ledger. Get you a cold wallet. CZ was going on a press run. Get you some trust wallet. Whatever you got to do to feel comfortable, man. But leaving the crypto space at the bottom, I don't know about that. You know, that is not financial advice. Just my opinion. And we already know that doesn't even matter if you say that these days. But again, leaving at the bottom, if you already made it here, family, if you're already here, you might as well go ahead and, 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 and continue to run man because at the end of the day time in the market is a lot better than time in the money now have i got a little more risk off yes have i lost a little bit of confidence in some of my crypto projects or even exchanges yes we all are human we all suffer from emotion to a certain standpoint but when we look at history we look at all of the people that actually became successful in the crypto space they had to pay 
their tuition and fees to crypto. And that's what this bear market is, family. It's like college right now. You're learning. You're picking up on so much. You're paying your fees to become this successful person in the crypto space. And it is what it is. The one thing I do not like about crypto.com, though, is the fees, family. If you up 50%, you know you need to go for the 70% or the 100% because you're going to pay about 15 20% in fees. Rocking with Chris, man. Chris, what's up with the fees? But again, Crow also generates revenue from fees and most crypto projects are based off speculation. So when you see a company that actually can generate revenue within the crypto space, that is a W family. That is a win. We like projects that make money. Most projects in crypto, 75% of these projects are based off pure speculation and they don't generate revenue. So we're talking about an exchange that literally has one of the most, whoo, they knock your head off with the fees. Come on, man. They're going to be around, all right? Now, this is crypto.com. Uh, you know, do, do they make they, they bag off, 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 the, off, the, off the middle class, off the, off the, you know, off the people that don't really got the bags? Yes. You feel me? That's why they have the fees. That's why they have these this much damn meme coins. And that's why they bought this much meme coins. Because that's what the people want. That's what the middle class, that's what the, you know, the broke people like us, that's what we want. We want memes. You feel me? We want memes. So, yes, they, they may do prides pry off 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 the lower class i get it but there's a market for everybody okay everybody can't be a binance everybody can't be uh this exchange everybody is different and everybody has their different marketing strategies and marketing ploys okay also crow is one in one with client reserves so there's really nothing to be worried about on that end they have stated now and you came out and say it you said it you can't go back against it now mr chris but they said that they were one-on-one -one with their client client reserve. So that's my thoughts on crypto.com, man. Keep the FUD away, man. You got people coming out here like Fox G say, never believed there was so much influence who created panic and clicks for money. Crow fam is strong. Where were all these motherfuckers before FTX clap, collapse? FTX scream scam, but they had no clue on even what they were selling. Buy more Crow now. Shout out to you, Fox, if you made that bag yesterday and followed example and follow but again fox g you gotta understand us influence we're just trying to protect the community protect the family nobody wants anybody i don't want anybody on my channel money to get stuck on any exchange you get what i'm saying i don't want anybody on my channel crypto to get stuck on or stolen on any exchange so we got we we we, we do these public public or service announcements man we come out and we try to protect the community over here first family all right so y'all let me know what y'all think about crypto.com that's my synopsis that's my summary man um <coughs> Excuse me. Bitcoin Ethereum is is really really holding on right now. Maybe we see another leg down. I don't know. Confidence is shot in the market, man. If you if you if if if, if today you you heard a person you never talked about. You if today you heard a person that never talked about crypto speaking on the FTX situation, that may signify that we are very very close to the bottom family. When you start hearing people talk about crypto that never been in crypto and they talk bad about it, Usually, that's the bear market. And when you start hearing people talk about crypto and they start saying, Millie, you should have been buying this crypto, usually, you might want to run because that's the top of the market. All right, family? So, oh, man, Tether, Tether just lost his peg as I was looking at this. Okay. Well, we, we'll just have to see, man. Again, confidence is shot right now in crypto, but it will bear opportunities, family. Let me know if you've been taking advantage of these dips. Let me know if you've been buying the dips on Crow. Leave a comment. It's your boy, Soap Guys TV. Millie, I'm out.